Hello, my name is Jordi Cano. I am a postdoc researcher at CI2B, which is located at the Polytechnic University of Valencia in Spain. I am uh, currently working on uh, establishing models and methods to evaluate drug safety and efficacy on human cardiac electrophysiology. My contributions can be gathered in two main topics. First, I am helping in the development of sex specific cellular electrophysiology models. It is known that not all humans show the same electrophysiology due to differences in their genes. Our goal is to create a population of, of individuals uh, with small variations in their genes similar to real populations. This could improve the detection of individuals whose electrophysiological genome is, for example, especially prone to developing arrhythmia when treated with certain drugs. And second, I am also helping in the creation of a population of anatomically accurate uh, 3D heart models of both adults and children. Um, to do so, I am optimizing the methods that will help us uh, create those spiritual hearts. So I believe that uh, establishing a population of models with different genes will contribute to the overall understanding of what factors affect the safety and efficacy of the drugs. And that's why we think it's really a good contribution. Being part of this project means uh, being a key part in creating tools that could potentially help other researchers and regulators make safer and more effective drugs, which I find is a pleasure. But also I've been in contact with many scientists from all over, all over the world. And that is a great experience for a young scientist. But I, I would say I'm quite advanced uh, on the one hand, I have already generated several proof of concept populations of models. Uh, so I have already completed my methodology. However, I cannot uh, speed up my CPUs, so I will have to wait for the results. And on the other hand, I have already optimized a large portion of the streamline for generating 3D hearts from medical images but we are still working on some aspects. Well, when the populations of uh, models are ready, we will have to test them with uh, a batch of uh, drugs in the literature. And also as for the 3D hearts, we will be soon using our methods to create um, hearts, virtual hearts from 3D images. So I believe models will be used in, in science more and more because they're faster, cheaper and safer to use. Uh, and they will eventually replace animals and humans. So I'd say it isn't a matter of how, but when this will uh, arrive, and that will be the, the science of the, I mean, the medicine of the future. The more we research about models, the sooner we will get there. I would say this is a really vibrant and uh, interdisciplinary uh, topic, and it's really interesting to be uh, working on this. I, I wish more people would be able to join us and make this uh, project happen.